Hi, this is Corey with Cloud Adoption Solutions, and today I'm going to be covering a solution that I built for one of our clients um, to send targeted emails with Salesforce using Flow. So this works if you're not sending a ton of emails. If you're sending um, too many emails, you'll definitely hit the Salesforce limits and you would have to use something different like Campaign Monitor or Pardot. But for sending emails to potential buyers in this case, where we're not sending a lot of emails at a time, this works really well and um, turned out to be a pretty cool solution. So we have a few different things to cover here. The first one I want to show you is this buyer search lightning page component. Um, this is the, this is from the app exchange, this record hunter app from Salesforce labs. So I installed this in the org. We have this on a custom object called disposition. And basically this has details about a, um, a house that's for sale. So there's a bunch of details in here, as you can see for this house, this is just a test, uh, test record that I have. And the fields that I have filled in are actually fields that I'm pulling in on the emails and the flow. And I'll show you that in a bit. So the criteria for this was to be able to have this buyer search box that will look up um, potential buyers with this other custom object that we built called buyer pool. Here's an example, buyer pool record. And this basically just has um, someone's first and last name, their phone number, their email address, and then the location that they would be interested in purchasing a house, um, their price point, um, buyer type. And there are a bunch of records in this buyer pool that then this lightning component can search. So if I look up my, if I look up that, it finds a couple of records. Um, and then if I select these, I have the ability to email this buyer list. And this email buyer list is a screen flow. And I'll hop over to that tab now to show you that. So in this screen flow, I'm getting that disposition records right, right off the start. Um, and then this screen is just basically a notification screen. It will trigger the email to send. Um, I get um, all the buyer pool records. So you can select multiple records here and this loop is getting each record um, from this buyer pool selected IDs collection variable, which is um, what the lightning component is sending into the flow. So it sends the record ID and the collection of IDs from the selected results. So I'm looping through those and then I'm getting the buyer pool records and I'm assigning um, fields here. So I'm assigning uh, the email addresses to this email address collection variable. Um, and then I was using this to debug it so I could get some more information from the buyer pool records. And I'm using this debug text variable here to basically create um, a separate text template to send to the business managers. So they wanted to see who the emails were going to and their, some details from the records as well, like their phone number. While I was debugging this, I assigned it to a field just so I could see what it looked like. And then I was updating the disposition record that I got here in this first um, get records element. And in here, I made an email template I was provided with an HTML email template, and then I added that HTML to this text template so that it would display, display correctly. And I used merge fields from the disposition record in this template. So those fields that I showed you on here, like the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, the property type, those are all being used in the text template as merge fields. So if I look in here, 
Let me see if I can find one. Oh, yep, so there's the property image that I'm getting from the disposition record. That property image is stored in a rich text field and then just grabbing the other fields. This, so this is the link to the remaining photos, property address, and so on. So that when this email sends, it sends it in full HTML, um, nicely formatted, and has all the details from the record. And I'm using this send better email, Apex action that I installed um, to send out the email. So I have the string collection of email addresses that I added to in the loop. And I'm BCCing those so that everyone doesn't see each other's emails. And then also sending that to um, one of the managers at the company so that he can see that email as well. And I'm using that email template full text template that I showed you um, as the email body. And then the email subject is coming from another field on the record as well. So that email subject is coming from this email subject line field here. So then if I send this, and then click next, it will send an email. This email comes through like this. Um, here's the image from the record, the view more photos link, here's the address. All these are merge fields from the record that I put in that HTML text template. So all these are coming from the record and then this would go out to whoever was selected in this buyer search results. So this is a really cool solution that we built as part of the requirements from the client and they really just wanted to be able to send emails, kind of like click and send an email from a record where it included that record details. Um, so a bit different than using a, an email template since they were using this buyer search. If it was just a standard email, we could have just used an email template like on the page. But since they're using this buyer search and it's a different object, um, we needed to come up with a different solution to get this to work. So really cool solution if you're not sending a ton of emails. Again, if you're sending, I think over 5,000 emails, you're gonna, get, you're gonna hit Salesforce limits. And also something to note is you will hit limits if you use this Apex action and send out an email in the loop. Um, if you try to do that more than 10 times, it will also fail due to the limits. So that's why I added all the emails to a collection variable and then sent them um, as one, one collection, which this send better email Apex action allows you to do. Thanks for watching today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel for Salesforce related tips and tricks. Again, we're Cloud Adoption Solutions. Please reach out to us for any of your Salesforce needs. Thanks.